Shane's affect was unsettling. Um, no, I always got this sense that he was um, bringing something in, something explosive and frightening, even to himself. But I didn't really get the, the feeling that he was suicidal, had any suicidal ideation. Mm -hmm. Well, it was still worth asking. And may I say, very gracious of you to offer your assistance, given the difficulty this case has already caused for you and your husband. Well, I know Reg, and I believe in him. My feeling is that there was someone who strongly influenced Rage to act against his own best interest. Oh, in case you didn't get that, she means me. Did Shane leave a note? Uh, that's very common, although they're not always found. Right, well, we're checking. But without it, we have no proof that what happened was a failed suicide intervention. All we have is Ridge's word on why he panicked and dumped the body, and that's not going to carry a lot of weight. Unless the jury can be shown how the chamber shooting affected his thinking and that he was wrongly convicted. Taylor, how long do you think you're going to need to help Rick Forrester remember his part in all this? It could happen in the first session, and then again, it may never happen. I, um, in my internship, I worked a lot with recovered memory, and believe it or not, it's actually more difficult than less to get someone to remember a specific incident. See, Rick's built up a lot of defenses, very strong ones, because he doesn't want to believe that he could actually want to kill someone. And in order for me to get those defenses down, I have to make him feel very safe, and it will make him very vulnerable. So potentially, we're looking at a long process. Yes. And that's what I'm worried about. Well, that's why, ideally, it should take place in stages. He'll go in and out of denial. He'll try to come up with all kinds of alternative explanations as to why he's starting to have these images and these feelings that go along with it. But as an equalizing part of the treatment plan, I would be shoring up his uh, sense of self-worth and that he's a good person that just acted impulsively and made a mistake. Taylor, we don't have a lot of time. I think the DA is going to push for a speedy trial. I, you know, this, this thing with Rick has got to come to a head and quickly. No, Stephanie, I just told you Rick will be very vulnerable and I'm not going to do that to him. supposed to say on the stand when they ask me if you if you're a violent person rick just forget yeah, it. well he attacked me once he even shot a guy my mom married but hell he didn't manage to kill us i did not shoot grant chambers oh, okay you you thought you did and now you're changing your mind rick, please don't push this well, then, then who shot him ridge did, did nick maroney shoot him too you did I had to confess, Taylor. I had to confess to keep the real shooter from being found out. There was no way I was going to let that happen. Because the real shooter was Rick. Stephanie's following up on Shane's car. We told her to make sure the P.I. doesn't tip off the police. At least not until we check it out ourselves. Good, good. Thank you for taking care of that. Something wrong? Brooke, I don't want to lie to you. Getting through to Rick and getting him to come forward, it's, it's not going to be very easy. I hate to put pressure on Rick. You said this could be harmful. There could be irreparable damage. Yes, there are certain risks. And that's what I've been trying to help you understand from the beginning. I guess it's all hitting me now. What all this could mean. Isn't there some way we could convince the judge not to use Rich's prior against him? Well, the victim's dead now, right? Yeah, Grant survived the shooting, but he passed away a few years later of cancer. Was there anything in writing, a, a diary, any recording he might have made? Well, even if there was, Grant would have destroyed it. The whole idea was to keep it a secret. Okay. Without evidence, Rick's all we've got. After listening to Taylor, I wish there was some way we could avoid traumatizing Rick all over again. Well, that is a concern, but so is Ridge getting a much harsher sentence than he deserves. Well, maybe Rick doesn't have to remember. Who would believe that we would be making all of this up? No, Rick has to undo this. Voluntarily. He is the key to Ridge's freedom. I'm sorry.
sorry, I'm going on and on, and that isn't why I called you here. Could you sit down? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, Taylor, I, um, we can talk about anything you want, okay? You can ask me anything. Uh, just don't call me a murderer. What? Well, I, I just came from visiting Ridge in jail, and according to him, I shot Grant Chambers. <laughs> I think it's time to set the record straight. My God, Bridge, do you realize what you have done? You don't have to tell me, Brooke. I know I blew it. How did the subject even come up? Because Rick was just in my face. He was provoking me. And, a and you couldn't keep it under control? You knew what we had planned. It wasn't intentional. It just came out. We've been keeping this a secret all these years, and now it just uh, came out. Okay, Rick knows we can't undo that. The question is, how will it affect our strategy? Well, I guess that would depend on how Rick took it. Not very well. Taylor? No. Do, do not even tell me you're buying this garbage, okay? I did not shoot Grant Chambers. It's Brooke. Look, you won't believe this. Ridge just told Rick everything that happened with Grant Chambers. He didn't mean to, but it just slipped out. And now, I'm sure my son's off somewhere, so just freaking out. Look, I, I came home, and he's not here. So if you happen to come across him, please, please be careful with my son. Ridge shot Grant Chambers, not me. Rick, it was a long time ago. You were a boy. No, you, you know, on second thought, maybe I'm being too hard on Ridge. This is this has got Stephanie written all over it. No, no, that is not true. Not in this case. You're, you're, you're her family. She would never Taylor, do that. Taylor, are you kidding me? This is classic Stephanie. I can hear her right now. Well, whatever it takes to save Ridge, we'll just blame Rick. He was no, a kid. He won't remember. please just listen no, to me, No, you okay? listen to me. If I shot somebody, I would remember. Rick? No. Rick, please, wait. I saw Rich. I know what he said to you. Put the gun down, Rick. Mom, don't worry. I'm not a violent person like Stephanie or Rich. I'm not going to shoot anybody. Well, then what are you doing with that? Really heavy. That doesn't answer my question. I just wanted to feel it in my hands, you know? So that's why you got it out of the safe? I've never held a gun before. I've never pointed one at anybody. I've certainly never fired a gun at anybody. I mean, I would remember something like that, wouldn't I? I mean, this would all seem very familiar to me, wouldn't it? And it doesn't. Which proves that I'm not capable of something like that. I could understand why you'd want to look at it. To make you nervous. What? Coming downstairs and seeing your son holding a gun in your living room. It's okay, you can admit it. No, honey, it doesn't make me nervous. It doesn't. Why should it? I would make Ridge nervous. Well, I'm not Ridge. I'm your mother. Now just put the gun down. Mom, it's okay. It's not loaded. At least I don't think it is. I mean, I don't know how to check. I've never really seen one of these things up close, you know? Rick, humor me. I didn't do it. I didn't shoot Grant Chambers. It's the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. never tell you something so devastating if it weren't true. This happened, OK? 
okay, it happened. It doesn't mean that you are a bad person. Now, Rich helped you out once. Let's just help him out. I will be there with you. I will help you through this, and we will take our time. I didn't do this. I didn't shoot him. 